So here we have a photo I took in September, I believe. You see some issues. The seats here I don't like. The horizon is not nice. The it's a little bit dark. Um, oh, maybe the seat away. So the, I want to make it a square because I want to share it on uh, Instagram tomorrow. So the first thing I will do is to make it a square and uh, uh, do a good horizon. I go to the crop tool, I click once here, I def use the grid of rule of thirds, I liked it, I used it a lot. Then I go to straighten tool, I click on the left side, I follow the horizon where I want it, I click, oh, that's good. In the same time we can do the square also directly. Um, I put it somewhere where I want to have, don't I don't want to have the black, the darkness down, a little bit more down, I put it there, okay, I like it. So I leave it like this, delete crop pixels, I uh, think on that, it's, it's good to have. And there it is. Um, the magic wand, I use this and I uh, use the con uh, conscious awareness tool. You can find it here in the edit uh, to fill, it's the same. So I, I only, it's, it's a shortcut, an action I made. Um, I want to have away the seeds. I will use the, uh, the, the, the clone stem tool for that. Uh, here, I put it on 100% and I click on the areas what I think it has to be that. So I click here because I think oh, it, it fits there. It's the same color. And I, uh, it's not, s normally I use 10, 15 minutes maybe max for a photo, sometimes less, but in this case it takes about 15 minutes because there's a lot of work. Um, okay. I, I don't mind that, maybe a little bit here. Um, I don't like the dark beneath, I want to have that away. So I use the lasso tool for that. I start here somewhere. I followed it here. And I use the conti awareness tool, now you see bad job here. I also can use it, this the uh, spot healing brush, the, the patch tool, it's called. Uh, it's not working always so good. Uh, and uh, depending on the structure here, so it, uh, if, if you go 100%, sometimes you really see that it makes another kind of pixels. So um, it, that's why I don't use it so much because I have to arrange all the time the structure uh, and it, it's, it's, it's too much job. <laughs> but um, if I would take it maybe on, on the four, the pixels will be better. So oh, it, that's, that's better, but okay. So here a little bit left. You can use the pet tool also to go outside. Uh, in this case it doesn't work so good, but I use it a lot. Now, this does not work. <laughs> uh, we go back and we uh, use the awareness tool instead. Okay, I use the awareness tool a lot because often, often uh, it works very, very good and it makes uh, good uh, pixels. Uh, here is something not right. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's it's uh, <laughs> it's going fast. So in this case, it doesn't work out. It's it's a pity. 
<laughs> okay. Um, go a little bit, zoom out. You see, it's a little bit dark there, so I want to have the darkness a little bit back, and then it comes to a little bit too bright, but. Okay. We leave it there. That's it. And then I don't like this small a uh, wooden stick what holds the guitar on in place. So I will take it out. I work often hundred percent because hundred percent then I also know if it's really in focus. O often I, oh, I, I liked it. I liked it very much. I, it's, it's, oh, it's quite good. A little bit there. Just to look a little bit better what he he's has done there. Uh, maybe, maybe. it out a little bit more. Not completely. There. Okay. And then this back. Good. So we have now the... Oh, oh, that seat is not good. It's distracting. Um, we use the same, the lesser tool. Go around it, and if I'm lucky, then he picks it up very, very good. <laughs> I'm not lucky. Oh, 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 I'm not lucky. Back, 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 back. Less so here. We will do it with the clone tool. Clone stamp tool. So I pick the area with the same kind of color mats, contrast, oh, okay, um, there, I thought I saw one too, that's it, and then I always use a raw, I don't use the Lightroom so much, it's too dark, so I brighten exposure, quite a little bit, I often look if the pixels still uh, so now it's it's a little bit grainy, of course, because oh, it was grainy already, because I shot it on a 800 ISO. Um, we put a little bit more blacks out, and a little bit more sh fill in, uh, fit and fuel, fuel. Oh, quite good. I like it. I think we need a little bit blacks. Normally I don't go far, uh, 60 is quite a lot for me, but in this case I, I, I choose for that. It's, it's nice to have it a little bit more brighter. Click OK. I put a little bit in a, in a vignette in by making an autumn effect. It's an action I made, but uh, I will talk in other movies about it. Um, it's quite a nice effect for having a little bit more column, a little bit more construct, and it gives a blurry effect. I don't want to have blur because I want to have details. Uh, so I cut everything out, but I keep a little bit of vignette there. Not too much. Okay, uh, that's it. I flatten the image. I sharpen noise a little bit. It's an action I made. I, uh, for now, it's only to show a little bit how I work because this is my first movie, so I want to have it a little bit short. Um, uh, I see a little bit point in, the, in the, the, the fur, what I, I don't want to have. Normally after I have uh, you sharpen and noise it, I, I don't make correction, but in this case it's so small, then uh, it's not really a problem. Okay, thank you for watching, and I, do, I hope, you, hope to see you next time. Bye.